societies and to uphold the values of the vanguard, honor, royalty, self-reliance in all your Welcome to Matt. If you don't have official business, we ask you remain in the lobby. I'm one of Mast's resource officers. It's my job to ensure those here on official business get where they're going promptly, and that any rule-breaking is dealt with swiftly. This... this is Mast, the beating heart of the United Colonies. Every decision made in the civilized galaxy takes place inside these walls. Most of Mast's employees have extensive training in their specific areas of expertise. But if you're interested in joining the UC, Commander Tuala of the Vanguard is just on the far side of the room. The Vanguard's open to anyone who can fly. Take care now. Another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. He goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Yeah. Bring a coloring book. You get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. You'll have to ask him. But Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. It's definitely a lifestyle, 
burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Sarah's friend. You come to a list at long last? Start earning your stripes with the Vanguard? Well, all right. Take the elevator down to the Vanguard Orientation Hall. You can get started at any of the registration terminals. The system will walk you through the rest. And if you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them. bit of time in simulators just like these. They're startlingly realistic. Have fun. Ah, you must be our new applicant. I'm Proctor Samuelson. The simulator's already been prepped. You can head in whenever you're ready. The simulator is designed to be a near-perfect replica of a Class B Deimos hoplite, the United Colonies' standard destroyer model. It's been tuned to provide a challenging but fair fight against the enemy squadrons you'll encounter inside. While I can't answer that question directly, I will say this. Due to the solitary nature of our work, resourcefulness is a critical tool in any Vanguard pilot's repertoire. You're permitted, even encouraged, to use whatever tool you're able to find in there. Of course, you'll be running through a high-realism combat flight simulation, engineered by members of the UC science staff, right here in MAST. Your task is to defeat at least three tiers of simulated opponents. Accomplish that and you pass the exam, and can then proceed on to your probationary mission. However, if you defeat more than three tiers of enemies, your required enlistment time for citizenship will be reduced, and your enlistment bonus increased. 
but you're welcome to try as many times as you like before returning to Commander Tuwala to proceed on to the next step in your application process. We'll only keep the highest score you manage to achieve in there. Just head in whenever you're ready. Head to my crew. This is the Mark 18 flight simulation chamber applicant, currently in orbit around a high detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant.
components to pass the exam. You may now exit the simulator through the hatch to record your current score, or stay and try your hand at the remaining tiers. Resuming the examination. New targets active. Congratulations, applicant. You've passed. You can head up to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Or you're welcome to take another run at the simulation if you'd like to try and earn a better score. We'll only keep good showing in there, applicant. Sidonia is an industrial town. The people there tend to be... concise. Bye-bye.
this time, I've got it. I just need a little break. Look who's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? Mass is short for Military Administrative and Scientific Triumvirate. From here, the three co-equal divisions of the UC government work together to advance the cause of the colonies. Be that through mutual defense, political and diplomatic strength, or scientific discovery. Now, serving any of the UC's divisions grants citizenship, but scientific and admin positions in the UC tend to be real competitive. Understandable, most people will prefer to earn their citizenship behind a desk rather than in combat. Not something I'd ever choose for myself, but understandable. Military used to have a pretty narrow view of where the best pilots came from. In their eyes, it was UC or bust. The creation of the Vanguard was an acknowledgement by the brass that maybe not all the galaxy's greatest pilots went through a UC flight school. So it's the Vanguard's job to find them and get them to fly for us. Me? Six? Seven years now? was a recon squad commander in a former life, so it wasn't too big a jump bossing around foreign pilots instead. But Vanguard's been a quality assignment. Meet new people, judge them on a series of diverse criteria, get them out there helping people who need it. Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? Then 
Let's get to him. So, looking at the data? Checked out a few of the murals. Good. A test of preparation and thoroughness. To trace the Vanguard values highly. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier 4. Not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the Sim too. I can tell you that wave are some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. Hell of a job. I might even let you fly me around sometime. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... 10 years service. Pretty standard for combat assignments. But your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a signing bonus. Help convince you to join the cause. 10 years might seem like a long time, but it's worth the climb if you wish to become a citizen. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? It's a big decision. John... You're not about to have my compatriot here sign some kind of contract that sells you their grandmother five years down the line, are you? Officer's honor, Sarah. This is honest work for honest credits. So, you ready to do the deed? Fantastic. Then just follow me. Be right doing this where we couldn't see the stars. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. That is where we serve, beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities, and to uphold the values of the Vanguard, honor? Loyalty, self-reliance, in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is... comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plan on Tau City 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come, so Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau City 2 count on you? That's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra.
UC security personnel are good people. Security scanners, chemical snippers. Hmm. United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Hey! Hey, you! You have a minute? I need to talk to you. You're the one that was on Vectera, right? Uh, you flew in on the, uh, frontier. I knew it! Tommy Bitlow, SSNN Research... intern. Word is the Frontier was involved in an attack? It's true, right? You saw some real action? Oh, I I'm so sorry, but I you're the first source I've ever met! This is great! Great! Uh, my boss, Nadia Mufaz, would kill to talk to you! An actual eyewitness! Uh, there's credits in it, for credible newsworthy information. Just share what you want, then. All we want to know is about the attack itself. Just go to the SSNN building. It's not far. Keep it up, Tommy. You're killing it. back here at all. Pull it for leeches, get it fixed up, and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Ah, you are new probationary then? Crew Chief Herath, pleasure to be working with you. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Tau City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until we got your record. Report they gave us seemed clean, no known hostile outposts. But I wouldn't say that's permission to let your guard down. Just watch out for wildlife and pirates. Keep those med packs handy and you'll be fine. Nothing too dangerous, if that's your concern. The repair suite's mostly just wiring and circuit boards. The welcome kit has some goodies in there I wouldn't leave sitting around when company comes to visit. But it's nothing some proper storage can't make safe. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit.
accounted for. We are ready to depart. I wish I could send them a message. I'm in your... You must be very well trained to fly a ship like this. the speed of light. I hate not being able to communicate with the people I care about. in your debt. Thanks for the ride.
An abandoned meat packing facility built on the fringes of the settled systems. I wonder what happened here. Something's been through here recently, but left everything in place. <laughs> At least we know it wasn't the Crimson Fleet. We got here. It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? It'll make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. Oh, I've been better. But I think bleeding out is at least off the table. What I really need, though, is someone who knows their way around a weapon. So, if you wanted to tell me I'm heavy infantry and I've come to bring you the gift of ordnance, I wouldn't mind in the least. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. I can't believe that a terramorph did all this damage. I mean, I've heard the stories, but to see the decimation firsthand. Terramorphs have a unique growth cycle. They're usually only found on worlds that have been long colonized by humanity. But Tao said he's too young to have one. Yet here it is. I came looking for an explanation and found all this. I managed to scope out a fair bit of the facility before it found me. If there are any survivors of the attack, they're long gone. 
I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm gonna need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. But there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant's security system. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there, and make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plant's turrets took a beating, but I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll leave it right into a crossfire. Oh, hello. I wish I'd found this earlier. You notice those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. But it's not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. Trackers reading green. What's that sound? Active. Shit. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing and get in cover. It's on the move.
model. Okay, let's see what you can do. Running basic diagnostics? Nothing. Maybe a flag scan? No. Spectrograph. This equipment, it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this Terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But Terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, Terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. There is. There has to be. We just have to find it. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. I was, long time ago, family tradition. But I know some of the folks from my old unit moved into the Vanguard. A couple even owe me favors. If I'm lucky, your commander is one of them. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. A bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here. It's not exactly a bounty, but you certainly deserve them. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. The Martian Trade Authority is where I'd start your hunt for Percival. After you get clearance, of course. Or did you need something from me? Percival and I worked together for years. He was an alien researcher like me. A scintillating mind, but not what you'd call a people person. What he's doing working for an organization with other human beings, like the Authority, is anyone's guess. 
But if there's anyone who will be able to tell us definitively if that sample is trouble or not, it's him. Was my job to know all the nasty critters of the universe for a while, Terramorphs included. I don't do it professionally anymore, though. Courier handed me a slate. Guess someone had picked up a strange signal on a flyby. Thought I might want to check it out. Presumably the same person reported the disturbance to the Vanguard. Never did end up getting their name, though. Wonder where this will all lead. Look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the Vanguard whenever you're ready. A terror? What? How did you walk away with the Terramorph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? Gene tag. Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data's been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as co-head of a UC Xeno Weapons Division. Faced tribunal at the end of the colony war was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno Warfare, though, well, we can at least be sure she knows her aliens. certainly seems that way. Did your survivor, Hadrian, did she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? She thinks there could be more of these? This uh, has been one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. I did actually have another mission lined up for you, supporting UC system defense against the Crimson Fleet. But now I guess you have two options on how to proceed. Head to the UC Vigilance and help out SysDef, or deliver that sample. I'll make sure you've got the proper clearances for either path. Consider these your first official orders. And here. So everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I'd suggest you move out. Thank you. 